Hello everybody, this is Keelan, also known as the Fiddly Bits, and you're seeing my third episode of the Horncraft Super Retro Deluxe at the title screen. And for that reason, because I saw this and it came up twice and I looked it up, and today, which is, what day is actually today? It is Wednesday, April 8th of 2020 when I am recording this. So, happy birthday, Optifine. You're one of my favorite mods. And uh, I have been enjoying this mod for many, many, many years. It is wonderful. It is, they should just take Optifine and put it in the Minecraft code already. Just all of it, just, just do it. Microsoft, I was gonna say Mojang say Mojang, but it's Microsoft that owns Minecraft now. So do it, my Microsoft. Incorporate Optifine and give these guys like, like a pay, you know, like a like a tax information and start paying these guys. That that's exactly what needs to happen. Um, so I'm doing things a little bit differently with my audio. I have the same microphone, but uh, tweaking with some settings, and I hope it sounds a little better. Uh, the last couple episodes I've recorded, they have sounded good, but I have not been able to hear myself clearly. It sounds like a, there's a, a static fuzz over my voice. So, with that being said, let's jump right into it. Um, I'm not going to lie. I've done a lot of building. Like, a lot of building. And... Uh, it's not really in a noticeable place at first. So, um, it's mostly in the nether. And when I load up this, when I load up the world, you will see. Um, it kind of took me for surprise. I've been building a nether base and kind of a nether hub ish thing. And I decided to take a break because I spent literally a day and a half solid doing this and um, I had to remove the Divine RPG mod and the Tale of Kingdoms mod. The uh, Divine RPG and Tale of Kingdoms, they are wonderful mods, but for some odd reason they keep corrupting my world. And I want them in there. I want them in there. I love the features in the mods and I would never have thought that, you know, back when this pack was new, I really kind of had a a thing against all of the RPG mods and now I like it you know I like I like the RPG aspects of it it kinda adds more flavor into the game but as you will see I took a break from that and we will go to the base I got everything fixed that's why the mods are out you know um, <laughs> uh, when I load in <laughs> I was the first one to discover a stronghold um, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> so, like, I, I had a whole bunch of those, uh, those nether eyes, eye, eye enders, right? And they, they found the end, and, uh, so, I better, yeah, I better boogie. It is on hard. So, okay, like, here's what, like, we are in the end, and the texture pack is a little goofed up. This is the texture pack, by the way. Um, I am going to remove that end stone from the texture pack, so it just looks like end stone. Uh, basically, just hey, you wait your turn. You wait. Hey, you wait your turn. You wait your turn, you laggy some bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here into one of these asteroids. I don't know how high I could fly in the end. I've actually never been to the end in this version. Um, he doesn't do what the the Ender Dragons do in normal, uh, in in not normal in um, the new updates. Hey, hey, jerk! I know I took half of his life out, so I've, I've I have a diamond drill now and an advanced chainsaw, and uh, these things 
took a little bit of research because I had to use recipes from the internet. And, uh... Hey! Jerk! You're lucky I have a jetpack on. <laughs> and he, I'm also lucky he can't really do that much damage to me. But yeah, these are not all that hard to make. So I tried using the advanced chainsaw because that actually does, like, 13 to 15 damage to regular enemies. And, uh... Well, needless to say... <laughs> needless to say, that does ones to the Ender Dragon. So I pulled out this green sapphire axe, and I bopped him once, and it did five damage. And I'm like, wait a minute. So, like, okay. I had this in one of my Ender Bags that I had been saving for the Divine RPG mod. That, that mod scared me. Badly. Um, I have some apple pies. Uh, doop, doop, doop. I will mark my territory with the torch. So, okay. How I got here. <laughs> I did not cheat. <laughs> but it seems like I, I ran into here very unprepared. Not that I'm unprepared. I have everything I need. My, my, my crap is full. You know, there's not really... I have enough food. I have enough ammo. You know, like, I have everything I need, basically. Uh, but that jerk over there won't leave me alone. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I was tossing them the Eye of Enders, and you, you make them. I have plenty of blaze powder and plenty of ender pearls. Figured out how to do that, that Enderman farm, and, well, I ended up with a mess. But I ended up with a lot of ender pearls. And some good levels. Um, and so, this is actually going to be the first time I've actually taken the Ender Dragon out without creative mode. Because, n damn thing is extremely annoying. But, uh, okay, so, like, okay, I'm going to find me the Ender Portal. I'm going to find me a Stronghold. I'm going to find me the Ender Portal. We never found it, right? And it was not actually that far. So, I started tossing the pearls and flying after them. And I noticed that instead of going up into a direction when they located the stronghold, they went down and kind of drooped and bobbed. And uh, I tossed them a couple of times in different directions, and they all went to that one spot and drooped and bobbed. And uh, so I pulled my drill out, and I kind of just dove for it straight down. And if you've played Minecraft, you've all you've all been taught not to dig straight down. Um, I'm getting some major, major frame rate issues. Eh, 14. Well, hit 15 soon. I'm on normal. Maybe setting that to short won't help. Maybe. Okay. And this is the hunter's handgun from Xeno's Reliquary. Um, wonderful mod for great justice. Right click the fires, hold the reload. It's really easy to make. Lots of iron. And just basically just lots of like vanilla items. You know, it's not... I mean, even the 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 seeker shots and the magazines. Magazines are really EMD, uh, easy. Glass, iron, stone. And then the bullets. Right? Slime, gun, lapis, string, gold nuggets. I mean, I have... Like, I had everything lying around for it. And, uh, have a bunch of extra empty casings. Um, so, empty magazines. Because I already shot his ass. He's down to, like, 80 health. So, let's go finish this job. Now that you guys are caught up. <laughs> like, I walked around and bebopped all of his little crystal doohickeys. Do we have a name for that? Does anybody actually have a name for those little crystals that float right here? Um. Hey. Th this gun is pretty slick. Like, seriously. This gun is seriously slick. Like, I really like this. I'm, I'm totally stocking up on ammo. Some of these monsters think that they got ideas. Yeah, it does four. But it did a 15 earlier. Like, I jump in here totally unprepared, thinking, here, I'm just going to make me, like, 
like a nice little oh I need to reload a, a nice little waypoint back to the end so that I can make a good video about it and what's my ass do is my ass falls in the ender portal what are you turning at now like did was that a delayed reaction bullet running into shit that's funny as hell are the Endermen actually attacking him? I see the bullets. This is really dark. I really wish the end was not so dark. Come on, mofo. I got some bullets with your name on it. Bam! Bam! Fifteen! Fif oh! Ah! Fifteen! Did you see that? Ooh! Come on! Mm. Get it. At he's at seven life. Oh, yeah. Oh. Woohoo. Floating to the ground where the end man's gonna get me. Ah. Oh. Die. <laughs> Okay, time to get all these lovely, precious experience orbs. I wonder how much it's gonna give me. It's the Enchanter's Dream. Hey, no. No. Don't get no ideas. Don't you. Don't you get no ideas. I will reload this sucker. I wish extra utilities was in here. I miss my Ender Lily seeds, but with an abundance of Endermen, I don't really see a necessary point to it. Alright, so since I have Greg Tech in here, I have a Dragon Egg right here. Alright, who wants some? One of you guys wants some. I didn't look at any of you. Didn't look at any of you! Alright, I have two things right here. I wanted to try the sticky one first, but the, the regular one has been a tried and true method for a long time. And what I mean by that is, um, boy, I need some, I need some building blocks. I know I can go and dig some in stone. Ah, another rack will work. Ironically, because you find all the components for your your end shit in the nether, so you might as well. So I'm foolproofing myself here, and I've I've totally goofed this up too many times. I remember showing my daughter how to do this on her on her tablet version of it, and boy, I hate the touch screen. I hate the touchscreen Minecraft. It just sucks. It's just like once you're used to the keyboard, you know. There's, in my opinion, I just I I just like the keyboard better. You know, it's like, I I was a Halo guy growing up. I I was a controller, like I was a dedicated controller, uh, advocate, right? I did that wrong. All right. So what we're what we're looking for is kind of like a, like a that. And I don't know if I have a lever or a button. Oh, crap. <laughs> this is going to be great. Do I have anything? I have cobble. Do I have any kind of wood? Or stick? Nope. How do I make a button without any eye or my recipe book? Mm. Did not think this one through. Did not think this one through. Jesus. Okay. 
this deck. Hmm. I don't think there's any sticks around. my crap is in the nether. There's gotta be a way to do this. Come on, think dude. Think, 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 think. Think, think. Think, you got this. Oh, this is aggravating. I guess I have to come back for the dragon egg. So, what I was going to do, right, build a platform, right, normally it's like out of cobble or dirt, but netherrack, I just had it on me, so, um, and with the sticky piston, I'm going to try the sticky piston, and oh, uh, I said it wrong, okay, no, The piston's gonna be what's needed. I need to get the secure skirting center. Oh, Maybe this will work. Why does it? electricity okay normally <laughs> normally all right you, you get a block right here kind of facing the egg and you do a plop is it just that's the texture is that the bottom? That's got to be the piston part, though. Is my textures wrong? Let's unload them. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, there's edits to it anyway that I need to make, so I might as well unload it out and then continue on. I want to see what the piston's doing. Yeah. Right? This is aggravating. Alright, I'm going to take a quick break and figure this out. And uh, I'll be back with you in a couple minutes. Alright, folks. We're back. Um... So, yeah, didn't get the dragon egg. Um, chose to just go through it, and we'll go back. Um, plus, you guys got to see where the, the portal is. So, I need some stickies. And my phone's going off, and the train's going by, and the lever will work. Yeah. I'm... Oh, and, yeah, a lot of things have gone by. Uh... This is uh, Still Hungry's stove. And here, let's... Still Hungry's stove. NEI still kind of works this way from my inventory. So it's smooth stone and iron, and it's really easy. Like, really easy. Like, you can get it way early in the game. And uh, I was going to build me a little kitchen here. And the coal goes here. Um... Your food goes here. Obviously, it's like a furnace. But this requires frying pans. And uh, you can make frying pans out of all sorts of different like materials, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm going to build me like, I want to build me a fridge um, and like a little cutting table and a sink. Um, I do have the um, Imabus microblocks, but uh, I do not have. 
any idea how to use it or if I can get as a detailed um, artistic rendition of what I could do with, say, chisels and bits from the new versions. And uh, I'm kind of missing my chisels and bits. I think the next pack is going to be heavily chisels and bits. So I've kind of upgraded this a little bit. Um, all this, I took the wood out other than right here so I can get to the generators. Um, I've turned the industrial craft sounds back on. So say I flip a switch. You should be able to hear a hum. Mm-hmm. Um, I broke this again. My spawner's gone. And, uh, better farming. See, I, I made some apple juice. And I realized that the, uh, recipe for apple juice was giving me something from the soul, soul, uh, soul shards mod. The, the, the thing I made the spawner with here. And, uh... So I changed all the IDs for soul, so for the soul shards mod, and uh, so that better farming, because better farming, I've tried to change them damn IDs like countless times, and for some odd reason, the damn mod won't read the config. There's been a few mods that do that, and uh, so I changed it for the soul shards mod, and I had to make that sacrifice. So I guess I lost my blaze spawner. <laughs> I thought about cheating it in, but I would rather go through the motions of making a new one. Um, plus, I might have some spawners that uh, I found around the server or have made myself um, really, really easy. Uh, I can show you how to do it. You can make like a neutral mob spawner, uh, like a pig or a cow or a sheep, and then have them drop from like, say, 12 blocks so that they only have one heart. And then you can just bop them with your bare hand, and they'll die, and you get the experience. And my god, I'm at level 78! <laughs> Thank you, Ender Dragon. Um, cool. I've upgraded the portal area a little bit, coming out of Grand Fiddly Station. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do some modifying, but just for right now. Like, uh, I kind of wanted to do this. This is definitely a cool thing. Um you know, the nether's coming up out of the portal. So let's let's go and take a gander before we head back to the end and get that dragon egg. We'll save the egg for the end. Ah! Oh yeah. Divine RPG's gone. They had this really cool um, lamp that was uh, they had all sorts of different color lamps and they were really easy to make. They just took a lot of materials, a lot of iron. A lot of glowstone and uh, I had like lined everything just perfectly with it but I still had some glowstone around here here and there um, but here is what try not to look around too much but here's what the room to my portal looks like now I need to do a little bit of decorating and fixing up um, so yep yep you got this peek at it but let's go down the hallway here first um, it'll look better once I replace all these lamps. Uh, I was kind of complaining that I wanted to be able to ride my chocobo in the nether from the portals to portals. So I did that. I, uh, I made the, I cut it out all the way into the bedrock ceiling. And I think that kind of looks good. It adds to the, like, sorcerer ambiance. And I made some wrath lamps from factorization I mean hell Saunders and Johnny both had all the setups for it the wrath igniters and all of the dark iron so just go for it I have not expanded uh, beyond here but yeah the portal rooms uh, here and over at fit station are done I've kind of went down here and some more of those blue lapis lamps right here um, put some nether brick stairs and down there I really haven't done anything but up here I think I like it you know it's like it's gonna go through some re reiterations I'm gonna take the tunnel that way too I'm gonna put a rail system just for some simple minecart stuff 
not nothing fancy just to mindlessly hey i don't want to you know i just want to get over there not really have to worry about it i'm just going to have it like cut into the rock so that you can still like get in and then like as it becomes a server you know people can ride their chocobos or whatever else kind of mounts we could find it's going to be fun so let's take a gander down here i cut into it man i was busy for like a day and a half man i was busy um let's come down here and i had a pattern of lights it looked really sick and uh it looked better it will trust me so yeah i took silverwood leaves and silverwood logs and did kind of a nice little pattern down the middle uh the lava this definitely looks way better with the texture pack let's go back to the texture pack real quick <laughs> shouldn't take that long it'll just be back. <laughs> right so might have to do a jump cut nope jump cut <laughs> Oh, yeah, so that's the way it's intended to look. So I guess the texture pack makes everything look a little darker, right? But it makes the lava look that much better. Oh, my goodness. I, and down in here, I kind of had the idea that I want to have kind of a spawner and magic area up, up in here. Like, I was going to expand it I can I, we, we can go down here and it's really really dark now let me do something about that do 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 yep because I had all the special lamps down here mm -hmm. I just kind of made this platform uh Shockingly, shockingly now, uh, we are not that far from my room up there. And, uh, yeah, I didn't take that that far. Shortcut. <laughs> I love being able to do that. Especially in survival mode. That is so cool. I love... Love, love, love the jetpacks. That is one thing. The IC2 jetpacks and the Grabby Suite jetpacks. Yes, sir. <coughs> I, uh, I'm a big fan. Let's get some of this lit up. I'm tired of all these pigmen. I had it so that they were actually not spawning down here. Surprisingly. Um, the room is technically big enough. To spawn a ghast but I don't want them spawning in here so that's why the ceiling is really low um, even down here uh, you can almost not like if we spawn a gas down here it probably would die in the wall so I've seen that I do have a jukebox for keeping me some sort of music while I play and awesome Cool. Still have a couple wrath lamps. Um, do 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 do. Ender tanks with lava. Oh. So I do have most of my soul shards. And in this version of soul shards, you just basically um, you put a diamond in the soul forge uh, with some corrupted essence. And I can't remember exactly where you get the corrupted essence, but Sonder had a soul forge with some corrupted essence, so I made a whole bunch of soul shards. Um, and uh, some of these were already made, and the zombie one here and the skeleton one, uh, the two zombie ones and the skeleton one. Because I do recall, I started these at the same time, I do recall uh, that you can actually combine them and I, I haven't tried might have to do a custom recipe but uh, these are empty ones and if I put one in my hotbar just like that and with a normal sword I don't know if it'll work with a chainsaw but it should uh, just kill a monster like a normal vanilla monster like a pigman or a cow or uh, a creeper right so I have one here 
that it's 1,024 witches, and obviously I did not kill 1,024 witches. Um, that was actually achieved with this guy, the pig one. I have killed 1,024 pigs, and that was easy to do. But, uh, so you you set the spawner up. It's really easy. You get a soul cage, and all my soul cages are gone, apparently. Either that or I put them away in a different chest. But you put it in there, you put a lever on it, right? And then it's like you turn the lever off. And then it starts spawning all these pigs. So you get one that you have like a thousand, thousand twenty three. And then you kill like one witch on one. And then you can like basically like combine them and like, like one of them gets the bigger one, right? So I found that one was at the top of the tower. This one was in Saunders stuff. I don't know how Winnie had the time to do that. The ghast one was here in the nether somewhere. I think Johnny was messing with it. Johnny, did you make this ghast one? Did you make any of these? Skeleton? Spider. Creeper. I made these three. I feel pretty good about that. But where did these three here come from? Where did the spider one come from? We made this ender one, this enderman one. And I do recall there was a wither skeleton one that we made. Johnny, you gotta help me out here, bro. I know you've seen the, uh, the other video. If you're watching this and you recall, like, tell me, man. Just hit me up on Messenger or something. Like, this is a mystery. But I hope you guys like my nether base. This is my nether sorcerer's pad. Lots of marble. I kind of go, like, normally... I go for the red and black, right? Like, kind of like that kind of motif, right? That's kind of like my channel colors. I was thinking about that. That's kind of like exactly like my channel colors, right? And here, I'm going to get a screeny, a screeny of this. Come on, Pigman, get into the here. Get a couple of them. Come here. Camera shy. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. All right. So, yeah, I'm not done with it. Um, this thing here, I was running it on blaze rods into a backpack. And then hopper system with nether bricks. And all these nether bricks are what I mined. Like, and it takes a lot of nether bricks. Like, it takes a lot of nether bricks. Like, to make it. Like, I got some slimes in there. Gunpowder. Glass bottles and sugar from the witch spawner for some odd reason. You would think that she would. And. Redstone and sticks. Sticks! I told you, everything here is in another. Here's my chocobo. Um, books. And an enchantment table. I was going to set up an enchantery down here. A whole bunch of gas tears and diamonds. Tons of spider eyes. I wanted a brewing station. That's like my, like... Not my primary goal, but what I want to do. Like, I, I seriously want to make a brewing station. Somewhere. Somewhere here. Like, that was what that first building was for before the server file corrupted. And I could not, for the life of me, repair it. It was just, it was dumb. Okay? It was just dumb. Let's go get ourselves a dragon egg. Plus, you guys got to be able to see where then where that damn portal is. It's not that far, actually. It's actually within floating distance. <laughs> it's 
loading distance. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so let's go float. Um, and I made some apple pies. Uh, like I said, there was a big conflict. Uh, I wanted to be able to make uh, apple juice, which is just a bottle and an apple from uh, and the apples are from the Better Farming mod, right? And uh, like it was giving me an item from the the Soul Shards mod. So like I switched the config. Now I can have apple juice. <laughs> But I uh, lost my blaze partner, yeah. You know, it, it happens. Actually, I'm going to take this time to not... Well, no. You guys need to see where it is. Because it is... Where are you? For the sake of... In-game beacons... Both. Navy Outpost Sulu. It's toward Navy, Navy Outpost Sulu. Like, on my way over there, which I have the Small Boats mod. Um, that's a fun mod that I was looking at, and I didn't think they had it for this version. But it adds actually, like, real working boats that float and have storage. And I thought about adding that and Archimedes ships. Uh, uh, Archimedes ships is fun. But, um... I'm trying to kind of restrict myself from adding mods that's going to further break the game too much. Uh, <laughs> right? So, you guys see where I'm coming from, right? Right from Fid Station. Over, like, like over that ocean. Or not, not ocean. Over that frozen shit. And then you get into this forest, right? And you, ha you have Navy Outpost Zulu. A couple, me couple hundred meters that direction. And then, it was over here somewhere. It was over here somewhere. I remember exactly, roughly, because I had dug through the tree. I was so excited. Where are you? I dug right through the leaves. I made like a little clip right through the, the thing. I don't really want to dig. I just kind of want to just fall in the hole. Yeah, kids, don't ever dig down. That's a silly maneuver. Unless you have a jetpack. Well, that n that in portal caught me by surprise. It came up to me really quickly. Like I was not expecting to break through that hole and then have suddenly uh we'll get a little closer no we're not no 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 it's somewhere around here uh, there it is okay yeah, don't ever dig down, kids, unless you have a jetpack. But, yeah, this portal came up on me really stinking quickly. And... Nope. Yep. I'm gonna play this one smart. <laughs> like, you saw it. You saw the portal, right? <laughs> yeah, totally fucking... Like, I break through it, and I fall right into the damn thing. Right into the damn thing. <laughs> Monster spawner silverfish. But you are actually not... What? There's torches in here. There's torches in here. You guys are stinkers. You went. You found it, somehow. Who found it before I did? Who put the torches on? I am so confused. 
There's torches everywhere. There's walls barricaded off with cobblestone. Er? <laughs> I thought it was going to be my, my temple. I thought I was going to be able to find it. Alright now, don't get lost. You're starting to. Alright, go back down. Go back down. Yeah, I dig straight down with this damn drill. I thought it was so cool. Like, I just got it. And, like, going straight, straight down. That portal surprised me. Like, I, I ended up in the end. I'm like, okay, well, while I'm here, screw it. I'll just, you know altar. Uh, I will put a waypoint here now. Um, strongholds end. And I will give you a enderminish color. Clicking in yellow, not green. This is kind of annoying. I want yellow. I guess it wants to be green. Okay, it can be green. Stronghold end. All right, let's go get our our end portal. Or our, our, our dragon egg. Now that we have that map marker getting back there, that's all I really wanted was that map marker. Because I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna lie or nothing. I can totally teleport with the with the with the waypoints like that. I have it set up that I can do that, but uh, I can't do that from different dimensions. There's the portal. Oh, hold your breath. Is this gonna work? It probably won't. <sighs> Alright, so. Yeah! This is gonna work, folks. Alright. So piston. Don't don't make me. I will end you. Heh. You like what I did there? And oh, I like that one. Shit. <laughs> so, all right, piston. See how it's facing now? It's facing toward the dragon egg. Okay, and I put this here just to bop it, right? And we're gonna put that lever there, and this intermittent noise is driving me nuts. Oh my God. Jesus. Okay, dealing with the problems at hand. We got this. We totally got this. Alright, so. Now. Make sure I have room in my inventory. I do. Bop my microphone. And then, hit the switch. Hey! Bobby the Boopy! <laughs> I can make... Oh, I'm making that. If I... If I can make, oh, I'm making that, I'm making that, I'm making that, Tome of Alcahes, but I got me a dragon egg, yes, and that's how you do it, that's how you do it, right there, working with the shit we got, right, alright, alright, no more, no more, oh my goodness, Okay, so I am going to set a waypoint here in the end. New waypoint. End. Portal. Dash. End. I don't care about the... I don't care about the waypoint system in here all that much. Oh yeah, I do... I would like to have an Enderman spawner in here. That'd be really slick and snazzy. 
I get it. All right. You're done. Goodbye. I'll see you later. <sighs> oh, it's only the third episode, and, and Keelan's already killed the, the Nether Dragon and made it. The Nether Dragon. The Ender Dragon and made a giant Nether Base and. Oh! I see the player, you mean? Fiddle bits? Oh, it's fiddle bits! Yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can, it can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. I can't remember what mod this adds, That what this is. I, I don't think this is actual Minecraft. It could be. But I've actually never sat in... Like, I, I have. I'm not going to read it now. <laughs> if you guys want to read it, you guys could have, like, go on the internet and, like, go on YouTube and... Right? <laughs> Go and read it. Like, I'm not going to read it. That's, it takes way too long. I am not that patient! <laughs> Alright, so... Put, uh... Put ourselves in a position to use this dragon egg. I see that Greg Tech has a block... I'm not gonna try to look it up in any eye because I'm just I'm just not. Uh, Greg Tech has a block that allows uh, you to place a dragon egg on it and get like 132 uh, EU per tick off of it, and I think I'm gonna go for that. It's just gonna be like a steady non-solar panel solar panel so that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna totally try to do um, other than that let's go to the nether again if I could make dragon eggs from diamonds I think dragon eggs are going to become a new decorative block here soon in this pack. <laughs> Fiddly, where are you getting all these damn dragon eggs from? Uh, uh quarries. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about adding an uh, equivalent exchange, too. <laughs> I could totally make a ton of dragon eggs with that. I mean, oh, yeah, let's, let's. Oh, goodness. Let's let's get some magic on, folks. Everybody hits on the the equivalent exchange too, and I might do that actually, just for shits and giggles. I want a divine RPG as my like, kind of like my out there kind of mod that I go to. It adds dimensions, it adds monsters that can kick my butt, it adds weapons that are super powered. It was good, but I can't get it working, and that makes me a little teary eyed. So. Um, there we go. Give me a nice little screeny. And open up everything. Bam. Well, thanks guys for... You forget you're recording sometimes! Hey, YouTube is hard. Like, I just sat there and just, like, zoned out. I'm like, okay, I'm done with that. What am I gonna do? You're recording, doofus! <laughs> all right guys thanks for joining me on my adventure and uh I'll, please look forward to seeing what i got next because i look forward to seeing what i'm gonna end up doing with this end up in this this room i want to get some lamps in here that are not regular glowstone so i mean i have that light craft mod but I don't have it installed it, it doesn't seem to want to work but if you guys have any suggestions on a good lamp mod or a good decorative block that adds light that I could kind of mix and match colors with because that divine RPG kind of kicked butt with that that it just had a little bit of everything in it I'm just saying all right this has been fiddly bits with episode three 
and uh, smash that like button if you liked it if you want to see more subscribe and uh, help me by growing my channel and then you will definitely see more appreciate you guys and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video so goodbye mr. pigman hey if you like my content check out my little brother Cody he makes video game wrestling videos uh, on YouTube here and uh, the video in the link right here go ahead and click on his video he's uh, doing pretty good actually click the video you know you want to you know you want to click it click it you haven't clicked it yet I know you haven't clicked it yet click it click the video click the video